Thanks so much for joining me for my skincare favorites of 2023. Skincare is very personal and I think depends on how much time someone wants to spend on their skincare, how much they want to spend on their skincare, their needs for their skin. So I have combination skin, more oily in the center, more dry or normal on the exterior. I'm 51 years old and I have fine lines and wrinkles, more expression than anything else. If I just relax my face, you can't really see them, but if I start to smile, you definitely can see all kinds of expression lines. I am a skincare maximalist, so know that I'm going to be talking about a lot of products and I enjoy skincare, so I like to spend time on my skin. I like to invest in my skin. That is where I will spend more money than anything else. Even though I love makeup, if I've got amazing skincare and have my skin in the best condition possible, it reduces the amount of makeup I actually need to apply my face. It tends to look more natural on me to have less makeup, both in real life and on camera. So that's why I love to invest in skincare. So actually, if I didn't have to wear foundation, I wouldn't. If I didn't have to wear concealer, I wouldn't. But I do need a little bit of blurring and I do need some concealing. I have dark spots in the front here. That is something I've been working for, working on, struggling with. I've had issues with dark spots for about 10 years. Because of skincare, I've not had any laser or anything done to them. It's all been a focus on topical skincare to reduce the appearance of those dark spots. So I'll be talking to you about some of the things. I have lots of questions about that. But when it comes to dark spots or any skincare or skin issues for that matter, my very first recommendation is to go see your doctor because you wanna find out the root cause of the hyperpigmentation or melasma or whatever it is that you have going on with your skin before treating it. Because knowing what that root cause is can change the direction of treatment. So that is my first recommendation. So what may work for me might not work for you or what might work for someone else might not work for me. So it's very personal in that way. But I do have questions so I'm gonna talk you through. Just know this works for my skin. May not work for everybody. In fact, skincare that I use might be too harsh on some people. Someone like my sister who has very, very sensitive skin she can get a reaction from products that I don't get a reaction from. This is a long intro, but I think it's important. Also, monitoring my skin is key. So if I notice something is amiss because of a new product I'm introducing, I will back off that product. Or if I know other items have very strong active ingredients, I will take those away for a while until my skin gets back to normal. So know that the products that I use are frequently used products. I might not use them every single day, just depending on where my skin is. Sometimes the weather can affect it. Sometimes exposure to sun, if I am exposed to sun, which is rare, can affect it. Wind, things like that. But these are my most frequently used skincare products of the year. One more disclaimer, this might sound like an ad or paid for ad for Shantikai. It is not. This is not a paid for ad by Shantikai. And I say that because I'm gonna say most of my products here are Shantikai. I have the privilege and honor of being able to try out so many skincare products by so many amazing brands. And there are some very good brands here. Let me know if you want some alternatives because some of the items I'm talking about are some of the most expensive skincare products out there. Not all of them, but some of them. So let me know if you want me to compile some alternatives for you underneath the listing. Maybe I'll do that. I'll list them below that might be less expensive alternatives, if that will help. Starting with cleanser. So I love to double cleanse. Again, a maximalist. So I start out with a cleansing balm. And the one by Chantecaille is beautiful. It's like a moisturizer. It requires some water though to activate it. So that's one thing about that. If you have it, I'm sure you love it. But it's also one of the most expensive ones out there. So something that I use that's really effective, doesn't require that water activation. This is a really lovely one. The Elemis Cleansing Balm. This happens to be their Green Fig Cleansing Balm. Uh, a little bit different than the original, but it still works just as nicely. And you can see it's a very balmy texture. It removes all of the makeup. It really emulsifies things and doesn't require a lot of work to remove the makeup once it's broken it down. So I love it for that, but I also love to double cleanse. So my liquid cleanser of choice is the Peter Thomas Roth Anti-Aging Cleanser. That one acts as a bit of a chemical exfoliant, which is really nice, does not irritate my skin. It may irritate sensitive sensitive skin types. So those are my cleansers. I also have masks that I love. I love actually 
all of the Shantikai masks. My favorite one though is the Gold Recovery Mask. This has 24 karat gold with antioxidant and soothing properties. It helps to reveal supple, firmer looking skin. It also helps to soften the appearance of frown lines and marionette lines. This also says to improve luminosity in 28 days. I not only love it because of all of those properties, but it also helps to get my skin back to normal. I love to take a little bit with me to travel with. You can see here, it's like a frosting kind of texture and it also has a bit of a gold appearance to it. It helps my skin recover. I also wanted to mention a mask that they have that is different than any other clay mask that I've used. It's there as you can see, it's got a little bit there. It's the Detox Clay Mask, and this is with rosemary and honey. You can see it looks like a typical clay mask. It has a clay-like texture to it, but what is different about this is that it does not dehydrate the skin. It feels really nice and hydrated after you use it, which is unlike any other clay mask I've used. Usually it feels quite parched because it's absorbed everything and then you've got to go in and rehydrate, but this one is very, very nice. So I love that clay mask. I wanted to mention that as well. Now, speaking of treatments, when I want to pamper my skin, I don't go to spas. I don't have facials done. I think I've had like maybe 10 facials done. Uh, so this is what I do to treat myself. Shantikai, Told you this was gonna sound like a Shantikai commercial. It's their Gold Recovery Intense Concentrate. There's an AM and a PM version. To get the most out of it, I use the AM and PM together. So they are these little ampules here, just like this. So this is a 28 day regenerative, regenerative treatment and it says to do this every three months. Now, I love this. I mean, there's so many great things about this, but this has the most marked improvement on my skin of any of the products that I use. I really feel that baby soft texture to my skin. After I've used these, I really feel that baby soft results over anything else that I have to talk about here. It is quite the investment, but as I do not have other things done to my skin, that's my splurge. So I really love the AM and PM. I'll talk about a few other treatments along the way as we go, but I did want to mention those up front. Okay, so then after I cleanse, it depends on what tool I'm going to use next. So I have a couple of lifting type devices that I use, starting with this zip, this zip product here. It requires the use of this product. This might help if you're trying to decide between this and I'm going to talk about the new face here in a minute. So this one I apply right after I cleanse because this one is like a more watery kind of consistency to it. This one I wipe off before I continue with the rest of my skincare. So it kind of impacts the order I do things in and it will depend on how much time I have or if I'm doing this in the evening or in the morning. So this works better in the evening if I'm going to do this because I have a little bit more time. So I'll use this device. The Zip Halo is a nanocurrent and microcurrent facial toning device. So it takes about four to eight pumps. I don't use that many, but I use about four pumps and then I go in upward motions and then I have to remove that and then continue with my skincare. Now, with the new face device, here's the mini one, which actually doesn't look that mini, but I have the regular size one, which I dropped and it broke. So I don't have that one to show you, but I've been using the mini one. What's nice about the larger one is that you can put the attachments on like for the eyes. And I haven't had a chance to try this one yet, but this is a Trinity attachment, a red light therapy treatment that you attach on there. And it says it's a wrinkle reducer. So I haven't had a chance to try that since I dropped it. So once I get a new one, I will let you know how that works. But for the mini one, what I like about the new face is that this is a firming and brightening silk creme. So this one actually can be left on, which is an improvement from the previous one that I used, which was that gel, because I did have to remove it. It would interact with other skincare products and it would create little residue. So this one though doesn't do that. I can leave this one on. This one works great for the morning. Again, applying the Firming and Brightening Silk Creme and then I take this and then I just move it in upward motions and you can see the results there of the new face as well. So for the zip, I have to remove this conductive gel first before continuing, but with the new face, I can just leave it on. Plus it has brightening and firming. So it really depends on what you're looking for. The zip is more lightweight as well. So here they are together. You can see this is the mini and then this is the zip. So I will alternate depending on the time that I have. After I finish with the zip, I will go in with the toner. I'll remove that and go in with the toner. So this is the Brighten Up 
3% TXA Dark Spot Toner with Azelaic Acid. So I've been using this for a few months now. I have backups of this, it's very nice. It says it targets dark spots, which is why I purchased this. I use it in the AM and the PM with a cotton pad. Now I love the Shiseido cotton pads, but I just ran out. And these are very nice too. These are a little bit more luxurious. These are the Decorte cotton pads. If you're interested in those, those are very nice as well. I like those because they don't leave lint behind. I will go in with this to tone. If you're using the zip device, I do this zip device first. I clean it and then I go in with the toner. But if I'm not using that, I will cleanse, go in with the toner and then do this because I don't have to remove this for the new face. I feel like that was not clear, but I hope it's clear. If you've noticed then, then I've had brightening on this side, but not on this side. So if I use the new face, this is where I'm very much a maximalist with skincare. It's excessive, I know, but this is what I love. I will go in with a brightening essence or some kind of brightening serum if I don't use this. So if I use something like the Zip, I will go in with a Tata Harper. This is the Concentrated Brightening Essence. And this has lasted a long time. I remember I got this back in like May. So this 100 ml lasts quite a long time. I don't know the shelf life, but it's almost done. I would repurchase this again. I also like the brightening product from Chantai and the one from Chanel. I'm trying to think, and Clay Depot has a nice one as well. So some kind of brightening product is something I will put on my face next. That one's nice and lightweight. It smells lovely, lasts a long time, beautiful packaging as well. After the brightening step, I will go in with Topicals Faded. Now this is something that's a very slow result because I don't get a dryness to this because I was using that Fenty product because I wanted to try out this one right here. I may do this um, like every few days, this Fenty skin, which has this very complicated <laughs> packaging, which I think is too complicated for what it is. Um, but their brightening product does a really nice job, but it's a bit more drying. I could see that there was a dryness to my skin. This one doesn't have a dryness, but it's also slower progress. So I do apply the topicals in places where I need it in the front. On my forehead, I've really evened that out. I've noticed over time it's evened out. Upper lip, just because I was used to applying it there, I just apply it there now. And then also my chin. I'm gonna show you both of the lines that I love by Shantikai. You don't need both of these, but I have them. So I'm going to show you how I use them. So evening and morning are different from each other. So in the morning, I have more lifting products from the Bio Lifting line, and for the evening, I have more of the gold line for some more intense treatment. In the evening, I'll go in with the Gold Energizing Eye Serum and it has this sphere on the end, which is nice and cooling. It's a deep puffing, smoothing botanical serum, bionipeptide stem cell extracts to help fight the aging process, as well as that anti-puffiness complex 24 karat gold and anti-wrinkle hexapeptides, which helps to soften the look of expression wrinkles. So we'll talk about what I did for the morning on the other side, but this is still evening. This is the 24 karat gold energizing eye cream. This is rich in active botanicals that work to make skin around the eyes look smoother and firmer. And this is also infused with peptides and plant stem cell extract. And this helps to reduce the look of fine lines, dark circles, and fatigue. Then for the daytime, like I said, I want more lifting here. This is a Rose de May Eye Lift and it has this lovely cooling applicator as well, not a sphere. This is a silky eye gel made of a billion imperceptible microcapsules of oil gently dispersed in Rose de May water. This one also addresses puffiness, dark circles, and fine lines. And it has that Zamac applicator on here for a nice cooling effect. And as you can see, you can do some nice lifting, like physical lifting with this using the applicator. Then we got the BioLifting Eye Cream, which is a newer product to them. This has powerful deep puffing peptides. It reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles. And they claim to have long-term visible results with ingredients that target under eye dark circles. Again, the goals here are to lift, firm, and smooth. So that's why I use this in the daytime. Then for the evening, I'll use the 24 karat gold serum intense. And this one has, again, a cocktail of pure gold and vitamin C plus peptides, botanicals, and hyaluronic acid. And I love that it has night repair enzymes, which impact the skin's ability as we rest overnight, which is why I love this in the evening. It fights blue light pollution. And this also says it visibly reduces the appearance of wrinkles. Now for the daytime, I use this one, which is part of the BioLifting line, BioLifting Serum Plus. This has visible smoothing and lifting, which is why I use it during the day, and I 
use upward motions when I apply this to really maximize that effect. And before I forget this lip color, because I will forget by the time I edit this, this is Calla Lily by Chantecai. It's one of their lip chics and it's a new to me shade. It's really pretty, kind of a sheer berry tone, really pretty. Then for the evening, I will apply this. Actually, this is for evening and day. It just depends on my mood. This is the 24 karat gold firming moisturizer. And this has a lovely golden appearance. It's not sparkly, but it just has a very, very slight gold element to it, which you can actually use instead of makeup if you're really a minimalist. Energizing, hydrating, and promotes a visible firming effect. It's got, again, pure gold and botanical stem cells, and this helps to reduce the appearance of lines while boosting the suppleness and youthful looking skin that glows. And I think that gold in there really helps with the glow. So I'm applying that, but you can also see I applied something else. I really do like that this isn't a pump though, and I just traveled with this. It was really easy to travel with. But we have a really heavy hitter here, which I will use, especially in these more dry months. When I need more moisture, I need just a little bit more help. This is the 24 karat gold energizing face cream. This is this is one of the richest face creams I've tried, but you can see right there, it's not heavy. So somehow they've balanced it out with having this really rich, but not heavy feeling cream. And this is considered a treatment balm infused with 24 karat gold and it's got a vegan gold peptide and this claims anti-aging power. This one addresses multiple signs of aging like lines, wrinkles, and dullness. But do you just use a little bit at a time and it will last a really long time. And this also softens the skin as well. I really love that for when I need lots of help with my skin, which is why I love to use this in the evening. Then for daytime on the other side with the BioLifting line, we have here the BioLifting Cream Plus. This one is not as dense, but it's really lovely texture. This one has five different plant stem cells, and this also claims to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and also visibly lifts and plumps helping to reveal a more contoured look to the face, which is why I love this for the day. Biolifting line for the day, bold line for the evening. Now I get this question a lot about what SPF works the best under makeup, and this remains the same as it has been for years. It is the Chantecaille Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen. It's got SPF 45, and as you can see when I apply it, there is no white cast to this. And that's what I love the most, it doesn't interfere with makeup in either the appearance on the skin, nor does it interact with other makeup products or skincare products where sometimes it can develop that uh, residue. It doesn't have that. So it works really lovely as a primer as well as SPF, SPF 45. So I've got that on my skin today. Oh, if you like this look, I did a, it's like a modern matte look that will be coming up. I do have the same headband, but a different shirt on for that video. I also wanted to mention, I have so many devices, but these are the ones I use most frequently. So this one is the Current Body, the mask. I use this one quite frequently. I was using it, gosh, a few times a week. It was a really good habit for me to get into with this mask. And what I like is that you can just walk around and have this part in your pocket and be doing other things and this Velcro on the back helps to keep it on. So I really like that. There are also other things that you can add onto this, like there's a neck and that's something I need to do a better job of is taking care of my neck and decollete area with skincare. I need to get into a better habit of that myself this year. I couldn't not mention a few more products because this is a really lovely face oil. If you're looking for a face oil that's not oily feeling, but has the result of an oil in which it really hydrates really well. Yeah, so if I have really dry skin, I'll go in with this. This is the Rose de May face oil. I also wanted to mention that Chantecai has their Pure Rose Water, which is a lovely way to hydrate your skin or just freshen up your skin. The only harvest is two weeks in the month of May, so it only happens once a year when the roses are in their prime. Yeah, it's one of the loveliest items and this rose is the base for many of their products. But for more heavy duty SPF, where I'm going to be out in the sun for a long amount of time and may be exposed to direct sun, I will use Color Science products. So I've got the Color Science Total Eye 
35. And in a vlog, I recently showed how I apply this and what it looks like. It's very mask-like, so it's not a natural looking kind of SPF, but it does a job. It's mineral. This is the Even Up SPF 50. This one says it diminishes the appearance of discoloration. So that's why I go with this one as well as the heavy duty nature of it. It doesn't slip and slide around, especially when it's hot, it stays in place. And the way I can tell is when I go to wash my face, I can still see it. it takes some work to remove this. So this is not the easiest SPF to remove, which can also be a good thing. So SPF 50, even up. And then this one, which is not new, a new product, but this is a new shade to me, the Pink Sky. So this one is the one I took with me on my trip. This is a cream blush, SPF 50. So I wanted to mention those because I consider those as part of my skincare. And do let me know what your skincare favorites are. Again, I receive, I think, more skincare than makeup PR. And when I test those products out, I am constantly measuring them against my favorites, my holy grails here. And just because they don't replace my holy grails doesn't mean they're not lovely products or that they're not effective. They just might not be as effective for me as the products that I found here. So I will again list those things that I think are nice, but just didn't replace the holy grail but I think are effective and worth their money. So I will list those below, but know that the skincare that I do test out in the background, I am testing against these particular products. But as you can see, Chantecai continues to rise to the top in so many of these categories, and that is why you see them time and time again. But let me know what your favorite skincare products are. What should I try out? What do you think will go up against my favorites? I'd love to know what those are so I can try them out. But that is it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well, if you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.